So I'm getting ready to graduate high school and I'm just sitting back and I realize I don't even have a laptop for college. So I was browsing Amazon looking around for something that was relatively cheap and also had a very compact size and I came across this. This is the Acer Aspire 3, which is an older laptop with a Core i3 in it that's on the Sandy Bridge platform. However, I got it at a steal at a price tag of only $270. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Let's roll that intro. When I first got this laptop in the mail, I was somewhat excited and very nervous at what I was actually getting. The packaging is not very impressive to say the least, it was very lackluster and it really just presented itself as something that was incredibly cheap. Now I know I paid $280 for it, but I was expecting something to perform very admirably because I expected a lot from an i3. An i3 is a very solid processor on a laptop and on desktop platforms, so I really expected a lot. And I had a little trick up my sleeve that things didn't go my way, which I'll get into later in this video. So I boot into the, the laptop for the very first time. I plug in the power, everything's going great. And then I get to the home screen. First of all, it's running Windows 8, not 8.1. It's running Windows 8, which is understandable for an older notebook. So I needed to update it to Windows 10 because uh, I was not going to go back to 7. I really am getting used to 10. So when I booted it up, bloatware holy bloatware it was everywhere there was so much stuff on this machine that it took a solid 10 to 15 minutes on first boot to get it to even a functioning state and after that it was so laggy it was the most ridiculous piece of crap i've ever touched on a laptop and acer i know this is an older machine and i hope you're doing better with the other machines but your bloatware is really dragging laptops down i know you make a couple bucks by doing so but you gotta kill it with the bloatware. It's really ridiculous. And make most of your money from actually selling notebooks and not bloating up your products. It's the most stupid thing out there. You don't see Apple putting bloatware on their products. You don't see other manufacturers that are really big putting a lot of bloatware on their products. But you see Acer, I'm so ashamed I've already covered up your logo with the YouTube logo. But besides that, I can't get all negative with Acer here. It's an older laptop and it was running a 320 gigabyte hard drive with a 20 gigabyte SSD, which I actually found out from further research that it was actually just a caching drive because after I reinstalled the new drive, it really only showed up as a caching drive and didn't give me the option to actually install the Windows 10 on top of it, which was really kind of weird, but you know, that wasn't the issue. So as I said, I installed a new drive. So. You know, I had that OCZ Vector 180 series hard drive lying around. Well, not just a hard drive, an SSD. And I really thought that this would bring a lot of life to this system. And boy, it definitely did. So all I did was scrap the old hard drive, threw it out of the way, and then put the SSD in. It was an easy transfer. Booted up a USB drive, installed Windows 10. And now this machine is performing a lot more like a $500 laptop than a $280 piece of junk that I was about to throw out the window. So let's get into some actual performance details. Keyboard, it's okay. It has some very, very mushy keys. There is some times to where I'm typing on it and I'm actually typing the review for this actual product when doing this, it just, it's very mushy, it's, it's not very comfortable. I feel like I'm pushing very softly and I'm pushing into the keyboard. There's not that much of a tactile response. It's just very mushy and it's a $280 laptop and I'm gonna keep reiterating that throughout this video. I understand it's a $280 laptop and I'm being kind of picky based on what I'm getting but the keyboard's okay. I can live with the mushy keyboard but the trackpad, is god awful and I am going to be picking up a wireless mouse to be using 24 seven because this trackpad has all sorts of issues. Now it will work fine for browsing the internet and that sort of thing, but if you're gonna work on a Word document, even a Word document, the accuracy is awful and it has so, so many issues. Now, especially when right clicking on files, I would go to an icon that I want to right click on, you know, to just like open file location or uh, delete it from the desktop or that sort of thing. And instead it opens the file. The touchpad is so sensitive to where I barely touch it, it will just open up anything. Now, that may be a giant turnoff to a lot of people, but you know, in reality, it's what I was expecting from a $280 laptop. But 
Besides all these issues, the key thing I have to get across here is its performance. It performs like a champ with the SSD. Now I know it's a second thing that I added, but that SSD that I added was a 240 gig OCZ Vector 180 series drive, and that's like a $100 SSD. Toppled with a $280 laptop, if you bought those together and you threw that SSD in there and replaced the other drive, you got a $500 laptop that you just got for roughly 380 bucks. You saved 100 bucks and you got something that performs pretty admirably. It only has four gigs of RAM, which may be an issue down the line. And especially for what I wanted to do, which was Premiere video editing, it does have some issues, but I really do not expect to export. I really just wanna do basic edits on this machine on the go. But for what I'm doing, it does the job. Four gigs of RAM, it will work. I can make it work. This machine, I can make it work for what I paid for. It's so cheap, but it's so quality at the same time. I really appreciate that something like this exists in the market and at the value that it's at, I can't think of anything better. So I really think that this is a very solid laptop for the price. I already made it my own, so as you can tell, I'm keeping this thing. It's really solid, but there are some things that I definitely recommend that you look into before picking one of these up. Because honestly, I don't recommend you pick one of these up. It's mainly for my use case that it works. Because this laptop is one older. It is not a new laptop by any means. It's an older laptop. And they're still selling on Amazon for some reason, which kind of made me hesitant for picking it up. But you know, I gave it a shot and I knew I had a return policy at hand if I really went wrong. But I wanted something cheap and a very reasonable screen size at 13.3 inches and this laptop delivers that. But do I recommend it for you all? No. I recommend you pick something else up at this price range, maybe an HP Stream or what Jackson actually picked up, which is another laptop that he's gonna do a review on. I'm not gonna spoil the exact model and that sort of stuff of the laptop, but keep an eye out for a review coming from Jackson soon. But really, go for something newer if you're in the laptop at this market. This machine works for what I wanna do, but hey, if you're in my use case and you just want something that works to browse the web, respond to emails and actually looks pretty freaking nice at the same time, maybe you go for it. I'll leave a link down below. I do not know how much longer this laptop is gonna be for sale and even if it's still for sale when I upload it, but mainly, this is just my review. The battery life is okay, uh, it, it does the job, but really there are some things that would hold me back and I really just do not recommend this product, but if you do wanna buy it, as I said, the link will be in the description below. But thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the B-roll. I took my time with the B-roll in this video and I really, really tried to perfect it. I thought it looked really crisp when I actually shot it because I always shoot B-roll and then record this video. So I hope it looks really clean for you all. Leave a thumbs up if you like the B-roll. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for me. I really hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm getting ready to graduate high school within the next week or so, so expect some quality content to come this summer as I am going to go full swing YouTube and putting all of my time and effort that I can into creating quality content for you guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.